Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to structural geometry. In this video, we are going to be focusing on assigning prismatic section properties to both steel and concrete members. Let's now turn our attention to our sample model. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the workflow page control area and select the properties page. And in the ribbon toolbar, we're also going to select the specification tab. Now for this video, we're going to be assigning prismatic section properties. So it's basically a custom section property. Now before we do that, we're going to go ahead and look in the status bar at the bottom right hand corner of our screen. Know that our current input units are set to kips and feet. Now for this particular video, it might be more helpful to change your input units to inches instead of feet. So let's go ahead and get started on that. In the ribbon toolbar, you're now going to select your geometry tab and we're going to find our input units icon. And from here we can go ahead and change between feet and inches pretty easily. So we'll go ahead and select inches and we'll click apply. We're going to notice that our status bar has been updated. And now we're ready to assign our prismatic section properties. Now up in the ribbon toolbar, I'm now going to select the specification tab and I'm going to find the prismatic icon. And from here, I can assign profiles that are not found necessarily in the standard sections database. So I can define a circular section, a rectangular sections, T's and trapezoidal sections, as well as some tapered sections and some custom section properties. Now for this particular model, I'm going to assign some custom section properties or prismatic section properties to some steel and concrete elements. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define a steel rod. So I'm going to select the circular option. I'm going to enter in the diameter of my rod, which is one inch. And I'm going to make sure for the material, I select steel. Once I've entered in all the information, we'll go ahead and click the add button. And we can see how the prismatic section is applied in the properties dialog. Now, before I leave this dialog, I'm going to go ahead and select the rectangular option. And I'm going to add a couple of different concrete sections. So I'm going to add a square 16 inch by 16 inch concrete section. We'll click the add button. And then I'm also going to add a 16 inch by 24 inch concrete section as well. We'll again click the add button and then we're going to finish this off by clicking close. Now let's go ahead and assign this to our model. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my property I want to assign. Then I'm going to select the sections or the members for which this property is applicable towards. And again, I'm going to use my group command. So I'm going to go up to the select tab in the ribbon toolbar. I'm going to select the group option. And this time I'm going to select my vertical braces. You're going to notice that your assignment method goes automatically to assign to selected beams. And we're going to finish this off by clicking the assign button. Let's go ahead and select the next section, which is our 16 inch by 16 inch. Now I'm going to go ahead and assign this to my concrete columns. So I'm going to select my concrete columns and unselect my vertical braces. And I'll click the assign button. Lastly, I'm going to select my 16 inch by 24 inch and assign this to my concrete beams. Now at this point, all of the sections or all of the members in our model have been assigned a section property. If you would like to verify before you perform your analysis that every member has been assigned a section property, we can interrogate the model or search for any members that don't have a section property assigned to it yet. To do this, we're going to go up to our select tab in our ribbon toolbar, select the missing property option, and we'll go ahead and say search for members with a missing property. We can see that all sections have been assigned a property so far. And you can also do this to make sure that every member has been assigned a material.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.